Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. So let's see what's happening in the news today. Today, June 1st, marks the 100-year anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre. In 1921, the vibrant, affluent black community in Greenwood, Oklahoma, known as Black Wall Street, was burned to the ground by white supremacists. Three hundred people were killed, and ten thousand were left homeless. Wow, that was a hundred years ago today. President Biden visited Tulsa today to commemorate the one hundred year anniversary. He said, "Quote." The federal government must reckon with and acknowledge the role that it has played in stripping wealth and opportunity from black communities. I agree with the president. In Miami, the reward for information leading to the arrest of the three suspects who witnesses say fired cold-bloodedly and randomly into the crowd at a Florida club early Sunday, killing two people and injuring 20 others, has grown to one hundred thirty five thousand dollars. Police released this chilling video. It shows the moment the suspects jumped out of a white Nissan Pathfinder. Police say to claim the reward money, anyone with information can go to the Crime Stoppers website or you can call this toll-free number. Sixty-year-old former Southwest Airlines pilot Michael Hawk has been sentenced to a year of probation and fined $5,000 after pleading guilty to committing a lewd act during a flight he was piloting last summer. According to a release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Maryland, Hawk admitted that once his plane reached cruising altitude, he got out of the pilot seat, undressed, viewed pornographic media on a laptop, 
and exposed his genitals while his female co-worker continued her flight duties. Weather experts say the 2021 hurricane season, which officially starts today, Tuesday, and runs through November 30th, looks like it may be a busy year. The Colorado State University Tropical Meteorology Project team is predicting an above average season, forecasting 17 named storms, including eight hurricanes. I hope we survive them all. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt has signed legislation to designate a section of State Highway 287 that goes from Boise City to the Texas border in Cimarron County as President Donald J. Trump Highway. The new measure calls for signs to be put up along the roadway and removes the state's requirement that a person has to have been dead more than three years before a bridge or highway could be named in their honor. Interesting. Here's another story about the lottery. Maybe the world is trying to tell me something. Elizabeth Johnson of Lucama, North Carolina, won $2 million after buying a lottery ticket for a drawing that she was not even trying to enter. Johnson says last week she rushed to get her numbers into a Powerball drawing, missed the cutoff by one minute, decided to buy a quick pick ticket instead, and three days later found out she had won $2 million. Johnson says she plans to buy a house and take her kids to Disneyland. another lottery winner. Maybe I need to seriously go buy a lottery ticket. What is the universe trying to tell me? So that's it for today. Signwin News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows, and we might even share your comments. And for those of you who have 
downloaded the Sign One News app as a subscriber. Thank you so much. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Happy Pride. And yes, I am going to go get a lottery ticket. End of discussion. See ya.